Does anyone use paper maps for directions anymore? Well, I suppose the answer is no for the purposes of this course, but they certainly do use their phone for maps. So in this lesson, we're going to show how to display directions on a map, and the map also provides us a feature for turn-by-turn -turn directions. So the user can see the directions on a map, or they can get them verbally turn-by-turn, -turn, or visually turn-by-turn. -turn. Some people like maps, some people like directions. So we can supply both, without any more code. In our storyboard, we simply have a from and to address, and a get directions button. And of course, all the text fields have referencing outlets, as does the get directions button. And we're handling the touch up inside event. In our view controller, we're importing core locations, the map kit, and the address book. So we're going to be displaying a map kit map and using its turn by turn directions. You can see we have properties for all of the various controls and where we're handling our touched event. We're going to get a string for the from address and a string from the to address, just depending all of the various fields and entries that the user makes. And we create ourselves a CL geocoder. This is the same geocoder we used in the geocoding lesson. So we're going to get the from address first, and we're going to geocode that. And we'll get our geocoded place mark. And then we'll convert that over to an MK place mark. That's a map kit place mark. And we'll use this call init with coordinate, and we'll use the geocoded location for that coordinate. We're then going to create a map kit map item for that from point. And we're going to be passing this item in to the map, along with a map item for the to point as well. So to create the from map item, we init it with a place mark, and we're using the from place mark. And we'll set its name equal to the name on that place mark. So now we basically do the same process for the to address. Again, we geocode the address string, we get our place mark, and we convert it to a map kit place mark. And again, we're passing in the location coordinate to initialize it. We create our map kit map item and initialize it with our to place mark and name it. So now we have two map kit items for our from and to address. Now we're going to create a dictionary of launch options. When we displayed a map previously, we just passed in nil for the options. But this is an example of how to use the options. We're going to pass in an option for the directions mode key, and we're going to use driving mode for that option. So this indicates to the map that we want it to display the directions. So now, create our map item, and open the map with the items with the from and the to map item, and the launch options. And that's all there is to it, so let's see what it looks like. So we're going to go from Canada to Madison Avenue, and we'll get our directions. And you can see it presents us two routes, our from and our to. And we also have a start for the turn by turn, and back to the overview. So the map gives us all the capabilities we need, and all we have to do is give it a from and a to geocoded address. So that's really easy for our apps to provide this kind of capability and directions to wherever we might want them to go.